Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energetic forecast and insights for Monday the 29th of January through until Sunday the 4th of February. As we move into and towards the month of February, the asteroid Chiron is very active and will be for the first few weeks of February. And Chiron is the wounded healer. And so it is giving us an opportunity to bring to the surface that which is unresolved, that which is unhealed in a child working, in a child healing. And working with that will be very powerful in the weeks to come. Allowing yourself to utilize this energy to dive, it's very shamanic. So drawing on the wisdom of your ancestors, going deep within the, I want to say the inner workings of who you are. When we're experiencing or have experienced pain, trauma and grief, those emotions can feel really big. And often if they're feeling too overwhelming, we can bury them deep within us. And so Chiron is here to support you in having the courage and doing so in a protective space to dive deeply within. And our emotions are there to teach us what the learnings are. Our emotions are wanting to be seen and heard and they're wanting to have release and release can come from acceptance. Can we invite those emotions? If you're feeling a strong emotion, name that emotion, welcome that emotion, let that emotion know that it's safe to be seen and heard and that you've got it, that it's welcome. Also, as we move more into the month of February, the Chinese New Year, the year of the dragon, so there'll be more dragon energy and more dragon influence that will be showing up in the next week to come. So for this week ahead, what are the energies that are there for us to be working with in this week ahead? Thank you, my beautiful guides, my angels, creator of all that is goddess frequencies wisdom of the goddesses the gods of course we can't forget our great mother all working symbiotically as one to support humanity in awakening in healing and in recognizing our true divinity Seraphim's Gateway. Oh. Voice activation, angelic attunement, divine support. And of course, with Ascension Reiki, we work with the angelic realm. And I love to teach this. I love to connect with this. And this is what I work with, with my clients. Activating. Voice activation. So for you in this week ahead, working with your throat chakra so that the wisdom of your soul, your intuition, your higher self, your heart can be spoken and shared. Very much directly linked to our emotions, the throat chakra. When we can share our emotions, voice our emotions, express our emotions, it helps to free that on an energetic level from our physical body, our mental body, our emotional body, our spiritual bodies. Angelic attunement in working with your throat chakra, chanting, singing, and let's just invoke and invite the angelic attunement that is on offering for us here in this moment for this week ahead. 
This is just placing your hand on your heart center, your heart chakra. I invoke the presence of the highest angelic divine presence. We call forth your healing vibration, your healing frequency. And we open our hearts to the protection of your divine presence. As you open your heart for the download of the vibration of the angelic realm, their purity of essence, their purity of heart, as they walk beside you, holding your hand, surrounding you in their unconditional love, surrounding you in their protection, pulling forth Archangel Michael's legions of angels to protect you, your home, your loved ones. Bringing through the vibration of the Ascension Codes, allowing you to connect with, to activate and open your highest chakras to receive the blessings of the angels. Say yes to receive. Take a deep breath in. Ah, oh, what beautiful energies. And divine support, the universe is cheering you on the universe is working for you not against you setting yourself the intention each morning thank you universe for guiding me in all that I am and all that I do thank you universe for revealing to me the steps that you would have me take the actions you would have me do thank you universe for revealing the truth of your love in all areas of my life, and so it is. For our hearts, our hearts' wisdom, our hearts' growth, what can we focus and work with in this week ahead? Surrender to the sweetness and, yes, Venus energy. Pleasure, joy, make love to life. From a heart, focus. What is it that brings joy to your heart? Focus each day. Make a point each day to set your attention and intention on gratitude. Give thanks for all that you have and all that you treasure for your relationships, for your life experiences, get in nature and allow nature to show you her magic and her beauty. Intentionally seek to see the beauty in the mundane. Seek and be open to see the beauty of life around you. There is so much heart healing that occurs when you do this intentionally and allow your heart to open to receive the beauty of life. Allow it to help you to shift your focus. When we are suffering, it's so hard to see the beauty. And um, it is the beauty that leads you out of the suffering. Allow yourself to be led by the beauty of life around you so that you can move beyond your current situations. Beings that wish to support us in this week ahead. Lady Venus, I love how this all flows. Oh, I am never... I am never not in awe of how the magic of the universe, the creative all that is, spirit, the angelic realm work for us and through us. 
light activation, call to action, power surge, earth mission. This really is, and it's so simple, yet we struggle to understand it, to live it, to recognize it, to own it, to be it. Love is the answer. Venus is here to guide you in seeing the beauty in all life, the beauty of who you are. She's here to support you in tapping into your heart's wisdom so that you can live your life through the wisdom and the intuition of your heart. She's here to support you abundantly in your finances. She's here to support you in igniting your passions, following your passions, reaching for your desires. She's here to support you in owning the sensuality of your body, foods that you eat, your experiences. She's also here to support you in lessening and softening in the pains of your experiences right now. So I invite her in to walk with you in this week ahead. I hope that those messages serve you well. And as always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. Namaste. Blessed be. Bye.